Hi everyone, this is Manish and in this video we are going to discuss about the remediation script which is a feature of Intune. So let's see what exactly this feature has to offer to us. So I'm going to divide this video into multiple chunks. For example, what exactly is the remediation means remediation script. How this remediation script is different from the platform script. What are the requirement and the limitation of the remediation script and finally we'll be giving, giving you a demo for the remediation script. So let's start what exactly is the remediation script. Well, remediation script is nothing but a PowerShell script. These are the basic normal PowerShell script. But the thing is, it remediation script consists of two scripts. One is detection script and one is the remediation script. You might be thinking about what, what are the benefits of uh, the remediation script. So think about it if there are any policies which are not available in settings catalog you want to deploy. There is no solution available. This is where we can use the uh, remediation script. You can use the remediation script. This is also can be used to check the device compliance where we are just using a detection script. I'm just going to explain it at later stage. Or meanwhile, we can also think about there are a few registry keys which got changed because of some third party actor which is trying to make changes to the device. So using the remediation script, we can make sure that those devices are retained and stay on the device. It is like the policy that we are enforcing the policies. Okay, so now I was uh, telling you about the remediation script that remediation script consists of two scripts. One is a detection script and one is a remediation script. So the purpose of remediation script is to detect whether the required setting is present or not. If that setting is not there, it will be marked as exit one. So exit one means a failure of script means it is the indication that now remediation script will come into picture. So just make sure that when you are creating a detection script, if your settings, what the required settings are not matching, for example, service is not there, folder is not there, registry key is not there. Based upon that, you have to mention the exit one. And this is where now the remediation script will kick in. It will remediate the problem means whatever the settings you are expecting, it is going to remediate it. In Intune uh, console, if you log in, you might be seeing the remediation. You, you will be seeing the remediation and platform scripts. So platform script is also a feature where you can deploy the script. So then how come remediation is different from the platform script? So let's have a look. So platform script is a normal, a single script, which can be uh, deployed to the device. It can only run once, means it will run, simply go, whether it is getting success or failure, it doesn't matter, it is going to run only once. While the remediation can schedule to run once hourly or daily. So you can reschedule, you can schedule it to run on a, on a specific interval, regular interval. Platform script can cannot be run on demand. While the remediation script can run on demand. What I mean to say is that in the irrespective of remediation script, whether you have targeted to a device or not, you can still run it. For example, you create a remediation script and you are targeting to just bunch of devices, but it has not targeted to all those devices or it is not targeted to all other devices but still any device which has not been targeted this remediation script using the device section you can run that script i'm going to show you very soon so here what the basic benefit i would see for the remediation script is that platform script can run only once if that issue occurs but what happens if at that issue reoccurs in that case platform script will be of no use this is where remediation script will keep into picture Whenever there are some deviation from the policy settings, remediation script will make sure to reapply it again. Now let's talk about the remediation script requirement and the limitation. So very first thing is that the license requirement for remediation is it needs to have Windows 10 11 E3 or E5 license. So if you are having Microsoft 365 E3 or E5, then you already have Windows 11 enterprise uh, license. For Microsoft Business Premium, it is not going to work. There is a limitation for the remediation script and that is you can't have more than 200 script. Though I believe in future, this number is going to be increased, but this is a limitation. You have to be careful that what exactly means how many scripts you are going to create. One important thing is I was talking to you about the remediation script that it, it consists of the de detection and the remediation script. But you can also use a detection script in that uh, if you are using for checking the compliance status, then you can use the detection script so that you can get the status whether that specific setting is there or not. So for any CIS benchmarking or compliance thing, it is really going to be very helpful. I'm going to create a separate video on that, how the detection logic can work and help you create the, uh, getting the compliance status. Now, when you are creating a remediation script for the first time, uh, how that remediation script policy is going to be applied to the device? It's not going to happen instantly. It depends on 
specific things. One is it will only apply the policy after restarting of the device or user logs in. It can also apply the policy when the IME when the IME service or I would say the Intune Management Extension service is restarted or it will also apply policy every eight hours be, be, because that is the default schedule for the IME to do the polling with the Intune portal. Let's see the demo. I'm just going to show you a very basic uh, remediation script. Let's have a look. I have opened the PowerShell. So let me simply go and create a script. So the aim of this part, the remediation script is what I'm going to create right now is to create a folder just to see whether a folder is present on the C drive. If it is not there, then another script is going to create the folder. So let's create a variable test folder. So I have created a folder, uh, created a variable check folder, which is equal to C test folder. So it means test C test folder is something which I am looking. It should be present on the device. Now I'm going to use the if clause. So this is what I usually you do. I create a structure if curly brackets else curly brackets. So and if I'm looking for the value test path dollar check folder. I'm just trying to find to look for the check folder if it is present or not. If it is present, then the output is compliant folder already exists and make it as exit zero. So I'm just creating an output because it is useful to get those information from the uh, from the log files when you are troubleshooting it and exit zero means that's it exit zero means so your script is successful do nothing because folder exi folder exists else in case folder does not exist i'm looking let me provide the output i have created the, out uh, the output as non-compliant folder does not exist and exit one so exit one means now folder does not exist it has given the error exit one and now it is going to give the instruction to the remediation script that now boss go and execute the script. So our detection script is completed. Let me try to run the script first. The status non-compliant folder does not exist. So it looks good. Let me save it. I'm saving it with the name detect check folder. Let me open another pane for the remediation script. I'm just going to provide a one liner to create the folder. Let me try to execute and see what it does. It has created a folder. Let me save the script now. I have two scripts now, detect underscore check folder, remediate underscore check folder. So let me just open the C drive so I can see the test folder was created. Let me open the Intune console. I have logged in to the Intune portal now. Go to devices, windows, scripts and remediations. I can see remediation and platform script. I'm going to create the, under the remediation, I'm going to create the remediation script. Click on create, specify the name. <coughs> Here, there are two sections, detection script file and remediation script file. So I have to select two scripts for detection script. I'm specifying the file detect underscore check folder. For remediation, remediate underscore check folder. Run the script using the lockdown credential. No. Enable screen uh, script signature check. No. Run script in 64 bit partial. Yes. Click on next. Under scope tags, click on next. Assignment. This is where I'm going to target on one of the test device. And I can see that once the group is selected, I have an option for the schedule set as daily. If I click over here, I can change the frequency for once hourly or daily. If I click on hourly, I can repeat every one hour or whatever you want. And daily also, I can do the same thing. So let me just go by the default setting daily. Click next, create. I have logged on to one of the Windows 11 device where I have targeted the script, the remediation script. Right now, uh, test folder is not there. So I have to wait for some time. So I, I restarted the device just to make sure to expedite the process because I told you that, you know, 
either I have to wait for eight hours or in or uh, restarting by into management exchange service or user login. So I just restart it so that you know I can expedite in terms of whatever the settings remediation script. Meanwhile, let me show you how I can execute the remediation script via the device action. I'm selecting one of the device. Under the device action, click on the three dots and run the remediation. So let me select one of the script which I just put remediation script which I recently created. Create folder simple script. So by the way, let me tell you that I have not targeted this remediation script on the device on this device, but still it is going to be to be executed. So it's in progress. Let me wait for a couple of minutes and then I'm going to check the status. Here I can see the run remediation is showing as pending. I have logged on to the device where I run the action via the device section. I can see the test folder has been created. Uh, this is the location where the logs for the remediation script, script is saved. See program data Microsoft Intune Management Extension logs. So here two one of the two important log files are Intune Management Extension, this one and Agent Executor. I'm just going to show you the troubleshooting tips and other things in the next video. But meanwhile, let me just show you short and precise information. In Indian management extension dot log, I can see exit code is equal to one, which was showing as the output of the detection script where the folder was not found and the exit code as zero. I'm just going to explain you in detail in another uh, session in another video. So if I come back to the console, so through the device section, the script which I ran, it is showing as run remediation as completed. I can further check the status of the uh, the remediation script. If I go to the device status, I can see the device name. It shows that the detection status is showing as with issues. With issues means that folder was missing and the issue got fixed. If I uh, enable uh, various other columns as well, let me just enable these columns. I, I can see the pre-remediation detection output showing as non-compliant folder does not exist and post remediation detection compliant folder already exists. So detection script was initially was not able to detect the folder. Once the folder was created, uh, it shows the output. That's the reason I was using the right output so that the right kind of information can be captured, which is going to be very useful for the troubleshooting purpose and for the reporting purpose as well. Thank you.